Hello, my dear friends of electronics. Today, I invite my colleague, Ralph Regenholt. Hello, Ralph. Hello. Um, he gave me some very nice micro modules. There are some nice DC-DC converter completely integrated with all the devices, everything inside. Ralph, they are very small. What was your motivation to make these modules? Yeah, so our customers usually need DC-DC converters from a 3.3 or 5 volt input voltage and they need an adjustable output voltage. So we designed a very small device with 600 milliampere of current from 2.7 to 5.5 volt input voltage and an adjustable output voltage from 0.6 to 5.5 volts. And the idea was to make it very small because on an industrial card you have um, sometimes multiple DC-DC converters and you don't have the space to put them on. Okay. Um, I know they are very efficient, very high efficient, but you told me that there are some um, precautions so you have to take uh, uh, in consideration when you are make an evaluation with the eval board. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat this please to me again? Yeah, I've brought the evaluation board here and I show how is the optimum setup to test these boards in order to have the same uh, environment than you have in a true uh, industrial card. So usually there, the buck regulator starts first and the output voltage rises till a certain minimum level where the microcontroller or the FPGA is able to start. And then you enable the load, which is the microcontroller. Okay. So the, the, the buck regulator has time to rise its output voltage before it sees the load. And this we would like uh, or we need to uh, emulate in the lab as well, the same behavior. Okay, now let's test the board. I connected the input of the module with this channel to 5 volts. The output is connected with the electronic load here and I set it to 600 milliamps, mm -hmm. which is the nominal current of this power module. Then I also connected an oscilloscope at the output to watch how the output behaves. And now we just turn on. You see, I start the module doesn't start. So let's try a different mode. We disconnect the electronic load. We restart the power module. Now we have the output voltage. Is there. And now we connect the load. And, and still we have the perfectly output starts and it runs with 600 milliamps and the output volt. voltage is there. So we have 5 volt input, 3.3 output. Yes. So it's important that the load is not from the beginning on connected. Connected. And other uh, option is that we emulate the under voltage lockout of the load of a microcontroller, for example. So in order to do that, I would set the electronic load at the voltage that the under voltage lockout would be. I would set it at 1.8 volts for example. Mm -hmm. And now we can turn on the system right away and it will work. And start instantly. Start yeah. instantly. Yes. But how about for the customer, if the customer needs this um, voltage or the output instantly, when, because he has already the 600 milliamp. Without the under voltage without lockout of the, the microcontroller. Yeah. Okay. What, what is the, the change, what do you have, have to do for that? Then there is an, another option I can show you on the schematic. So here we see the schematic of the power module. We have a resistive divider to set the output voltage. We have a for feed forward capacitor. And this capacitor on this board is uh, at a very small value because the board is optimized for high efficiency for battery powered applications where under light load the device goes in burst mode. And with a small capacitor, the efficiency is very high because then the number of bursts is very small. If we increase this capacitor to a higher value, mm -hmm. and then uh, the device would start right away, even if you apply the load instantly. Okay, so there's only one option what the customer have to do in this uh, situation, increase the capacity yeah. of... Uh, of the output of the FF. Of the feed-forward capacitor. Feed forward, yeah. Yes. And this is the case for uh, non-mobile or non-battery powered applications. Thank you, Ralph. That's 
amazing, nice information and, and uh, good advice. I hope you enjoy it and you will have some fun with these modules. Please watch my next videos. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.